Hey, we're camping out. Where are we? The great outdoors. She books the trips. <laughs> I just haul the trailer along <laughs> and cook the food. <laughs> what are we making today? Um, it's chicken with plum quats and pineapple and uh, mango and jalapeno. <laughs> and you're going to make some salsa, right? Yep. Avocado, mango, pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> it's 100 gazillion degrees yeah, today. Can you see this? <laughs> Stay with us. I've got this new stainless steel portable fire pit and grill that the folks from Life Do sent me. Hey, they take pride in improving the grill based on customer feedback. You can see this every user is our designer here on the on the carrying case on the bag. Now, if you watch my channel, you may have seen I used an earlier model of this grill, but it had some type of coating on it which peeled off with heat and then rusted here with the rain and humidity. So they sent me this new version made with three millimeter stainless steel. And as you can see, it's quite portable, comes with everything you see here, including the gloves. And have a look at this. The coolest part is they included our armadillo pepper name instead of the Life 2 branding. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. Now, let Mr. Not-So-Mechanical try to assemble this thing. This ashtray is something they added based on feedback from earlier models, which helps to prevent a mess in your yard or your deck while you're cooking, but it still gives good airflow. And as I mentioned, I'm not so mechanical, but even I can do this. Now let's add some lump of charcoal in this bad boy. We want to make sure it can get good and hot for this first cook. And then I'm going to add some fire starters. We'll get this grill lit and let it burn for about 30 to 45 minutes, kind of season in. Now the grill also includes these two bars that help improve sturdiness. You know, keep this grill from, you know, wobbling as you're cooking on it because it is a, a small, you know, portable unit. And then this grill grate gives you about 200 inches of cooking space. So the Life Dew has been heating here for about 30 minutes. And to start, I've sliced some Idaho potatoes coated in olive oil and sprinkled with everything bagel seasoning. Let's get these taters on and then I'll get over to the ingredients for this chicken glaze. Here I've got two plum cots, one jalapeno, third of a red onion, half a mango, two slices of pineapple. Now I was planning to blend it up but we had an issue with the bullet so I'll just cook the fruit down here on the grill. This should work for us. We'll add about one third to one half cup apple cider vinegar. And while our sauce is starting to cook, let's check on these taters. They're getting some really nice color so we'll turn them over. And then what we'll do, we'll just keep simmering this sauce, stirring occasionally, and letting the fruit break down. Now let's get our chicken seasoned up. I've got this Baja adobo seasoning, and we'll lightly season both sides. I get this seasoning at my local Publix grocery store. Next, we're coming in with a light coating of chipotle chili powder. Now you don't need much, and again, we'll season both sides. Next, some fresh ground black pepper. We'll do both sides to taste. Always add a little pepper here. And then we'll get over to this Life Do grill. I'll just put my chicken breast here on the grill and then I'm going to pour a small can of pineapple juice into this uh, fruit mixture. Then we'll mix in one third cup of brown sugar. A little additional sweetness to go with that tart from the apple cider vinegar and let it keep on simmering. Now I'm really not timing this but I'm guessing it's been about eight to ten minutes here at the flip point. You can see the second piece got a little charred. Now I'm adding some pineapple rings that will grill up and it'll just go real nice with this chicken. And let's get the chicken glazed. I can't wait this sauce is smelling absolutely incredible. Now after a few minutes, I'll turn the chicken and glaze the other side. Half a mango, two rings of pineapple, one avocado, one quarter cup red onion, one jalapeno, and then about a half of a tomato. Let's we'll just get this in our bowl and then add a little cracked black pepper. Can't go wrong by adding a little black pepper now. 
you to wrap this cook up. I'm going to mix the salsa up nicely. Get back over to the grill. And by the way, big thanks for the folks at Life Do for sending out this grill with our logo. This new version is really improved. Look who's with me. I show up to eat. Got her, uh, I, I really don't know what to call the chicken, right? It's uh, got plum pots, which are a combination of plum and apricots, pineapple, mango, jalapeno, onion, chipotle. <laughs> it's got that, uh, what's that adobo or whatever that sauce is you like, the, the Mexican yellow uh, rub. What's that called? You got it, you had it right the first time. What was it the first time? Adobo. Adobo. And then we've got some salad here. Uh, not salad, salsa. It's like four million degrees. I'm beyond hot. She just came out, you know, for the final filming. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but I cut up everything. She did. She did. <laughs> now you're gonna just as easily made this with uh, chicken thighs, whatever kind of chicken you like. Tammy got this on sale, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let me get you a bite. There's your some chicken. Oh, okay, I guess I'll use my fingers. You want a fork? <laughs> I don't care. I just want some salsa on it. <laughs> me too. Give it a try. Cheers, Amundo, to Cheers. you. Cheers. Thank for you. Thanks for making the salsa. Mmm. <laughs> okay. That's way good. Mm. Super good. Let me try this one is so flavors. fresh. This is so fresh and delicious. You can taste like a, I can taste a little bit of the onion, a little bit of the pineapple, a little bit of the avocado. The chicken has this like really nice flavor. It's just so good. It's so. Yeah. You know the plan was to blend all that stuff up, but we couldn't find the blade <laughs> for that. What's it called? Bullet or whatever. Yeah, for the, the blender. Mm -hmm. So we just boiled it down. I glazed it. Super delicious. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it. So, you know, when you're out in your backyard cooking, just improvise. If something doesn't work out the way you want it to, Yum. fix it, right? And these bagel, what's it? Everything bagel seasoning on yeah. these taters. A little bit of olive oil. Out of this world. And out turmeric. Because, you know, got to be healthy. That's supposed to be good for me, right? Mm-hmm. Pineapple, mango, guacamole, tomato. Something I'm sure is in there is probably going to lower my cholesterol, right? Mm-hmm. The whole thing's healthy. Thanks so much for watching.